I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I love Amber. I'm rusty with the stream yard. I know. We don't come up enough anymore. Oh, how we yes. Yes. You have to repeat the, the procedures. Miss McKnight. Is that like, are you a Mr. McDreamy's? That's the thing that popped into my head. Did you ever watch Grey's Anatomy? I used to, yeah. Hello, Heather. Hello. Hello. Uh, Emma? Emma, hello. Maria. Glad you made it. Well, hello, Camille. Candice, the roll call. Judy. You guys are all still here. Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, it's so nice to see all the familiar names. Yes. yes. How's everybody doing? How's the weather? Where are you watching from? Hello. Any Italians watching? I saw you. Parts of Italy are, are having like some terrible flooding. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sally. Sally got a new puppy. So exciting. Oh, how nice. <laughs> oh, the... Is this, it's the Dalmatian in the pictures that I've seen? Yes, yeah, so she's on her second one in, I don't think it's been a year. She's she's uh, in pu puppy, um, puppy world. Fun. You're watching from Florida. I'm glad you could join us. The leaves, yes, finally. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Costa Rica. That must be a lovely... Uh, Lovely weather. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think California doesn't complain when they get rain, though, right? Always hear that it's very dry there. Mm -hmm. Welcome, everybody. Okay, so today, for today, I'm in the hot seat, and I'm just going to start by showing you guys. I've been working on something, just, you know, the, our world. I was just chatting with Amber, actually, about the social media world and everything always changing and this and that. So I was adventuring in the world of Pinterest. So Pinterest has a, a thing called Pinterest TV. Who knew? And so if you're on, if you have the app, you have to have the app to watch on, on your phone. And it's in the top a left corner. There's a little TV and here's the screen like for the TV and, this is desktop. So if you do Pinterest.com and you do the slash TV, you'll get to this. And this is what's going on over there. All kinds of like cooking and crafting and all kinds of stuff. Everything that you find on Pinterest. So FYI, if you guys want to check it out, I've been doing a few live streams there. It's a new platform. Like I say, it's essentially hell. Because <laughs> where we should be putting our heads, you know? I know. Yeah, we started here on Facebook so long ago, and we've kind of just been here this whole time. And now there's all these new. Everybody wants their their cut of the pie, right? Yeah. They're like, well, this is working. Mm -hmm. Like even I saw Amazon is trying to sell um, a, like handcrafted stuff. So they're trying to get the Etsy oh. market. Oh, I see. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah, so they're trying to get everybody that's on Etsy over to Amazon. Etsy is a very big platform now. So anyway, and so today I'm going to look at these the dinosaur cookies. So this is a lesson that I have in my coffee shop. It's also in my group. And so today Amber and I are doing a discount code for the coffee shop. So she has one and I have one. Mm -hmm. And the link, did you use the same discount code? Is it cookies or did you make another? It's to check. It's cookies, or I might have wrote cookie. Maybe I, I told. I don't know. So Anyways, yeah, you, it's there, but you can try both <laughs> on mine. So you guys here on the side, do we have the a link? I have just. It's called. We're in the private chat here. I have here. So it's. I'll copy it and put it in the comments. And so it's slash Montreal Confections or slash Sweet Ams, okay? Yeah. yeah. Do, uh, Camille wants to know if the Pinterest live streams are recorded. They they are, 
they are recorded so you can see if you look down it's an interesting platform i mean um you can't just go live like we do here like oh i want to go live you go live no it's not like that you have to kind of like get a time slot and and then um like you can look actually days in advance to see what's going to be happening in the weeks to come and you can see the times and everything and if you miss it well you can watch the pre-recorded it's an interesting platform and pinterest they have to approve your live stream before you go live is that right yeah so interesting how that works Hey, Jeremy. So they they don't let more than two people go live at once. Wow. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, you can imagine the time slots are very desirable, and so you uh, you get like a certain you, you fix your time. Let's say six thirty to seven. I I had preferred seven to seven thirty to eight. But now they've put me at six thirty, and so yeah, just I mean. It's an interesting in that that's where you go for ideas and for, um, for, you know, like so often that's our first place we go and we're looking for inspiration, right? Yeah. And then in other, in other news related also to that, did I put a screenshot of it? Here, this one here, I was also telling Amber about this. So Amazon wants their cut of the pie. So they're, <laughs> they're, you, you can watch videos on Amazon. They have Amazon Live. And so today I did create a shoppable video there for the cutters that I'm using. So yeah, they're, so you guys, if you want to look at stuff, uh, you don't need cable anymore. Oh yeah, you definitely don't. We got rid of cable a long time ago. You don't need cable yet and it's all free. So it's really um, infinite, infinite uh options what's going on why is it so dark let's add some some light to this <laughs> well happy birthday michelle there see i got a little light here that i can kind of <clears throat> is that better there all right, so here are the cutters. So they sell a lot of like, I want to say, you know, lower end, high, you know, cutters come in different qualities, just like anything. The 3D printed are not all created equal, but this is not 3, 3D printed. Oh, fun, Jeremy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think it doesn't matter as much as if you didn't put it in a cake. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So this seems to be fat, like they're fabricated, you know, like like a, like a bowl type thing. They're not like um, like the three D printed. And so the the quality, like you know, when you're buying on, like I've bought three D printed on AliExpress that was meh. Some of these things would fall off. These are pretty. They're pretty good, and also for the price of like three cutters. So. Mm -hmm. Use them with fondant, which I'm going to demonstrate here because kind of I don't really oh, like nice. cookie dough with uh, on the live. I did it on Pinterest, but so here's my little mini rolling pin. Hey, Malik. Oh, hello. Um, uh, your shirt bench is that that's like bench pressing, I'm assuming. No, I think it's a brand and it's like Costco sells a lot of bench products. Oh, I thought it was like a workout sweatshirt. I don't, uh, as you know, work out. So what would I need that for? I don't know, you know, your son, maybe you're like supporting. <laughs> supportive no. of your, your bench pressing son. <laughs> so, so the cutters come with, a, a, a sh they're separate. And some of the cutters that I've seen have the impression kind of attached. And those don't work very well. I lift, I lift bags of sugar and flour. That's pretty heavy. So what I like about this is that you can use it alone if you want. What did she just say? She has them and she what? Never yes. used them. They're great. And so ideally you're pressing the impression first because what happens is right. I'm pressing in that I'm taking up some of that dough space so that it's pushing out. So when the cutter is attached, the stuff sometimes get wedged in there. You can't, you can't get it out after that dough expansion happens. 
So you press it in and then you see, look at that nice impression. And then you can easily see to cut it. So you just go right above and you can like see very well and then you can cut it. And um, some Candace of was asking where you got them, the cutters? Amazon. So there you go. And you could use this on a cake. You could use it like, like I, I used it as cookies, but you can see there and you don't have to use the impression. You can just make them as like the outline. If you look here, I decorated them. You can mm -hmm. see there that template. So again, reminder at coffee, we've, we're, we're doing 50% off there. The discount code I created is cookies with an S and I think Amber didn't put the S. So you guys try it with and without the S if it's not yeah. working. And the coffee link, I had put it in. Yes, that was fun. And just to demonstrate the process, I didn't want to be using raw dough as I'm kind of here, you know. And so here are the actual cookies baked up. Amber has a bit of a cough, so she's... <laughs> Sorry. Hope oh, oh, you're okay. So you can see here, look at how well they bake. Now back to Jeremy's no baking powder situation. The baking powder would um, for sure impact those holes. So you want to at least reduce your baking powder so that your impression doesn't completely fade away. These are, these are great for like, you have your young bakers at your house, Amber, your daughters mm -hmm. like stuff and everything. So then with the runny icing, because it's a lot easier for their little hands to squeeze, well, it's easier for them to fill the holes, you know? Like mm -hmm. yours is a pro now, but you were to have like a little cookie decorating party with her friends, which I'm sure they're all jealous of her. Yes, I they, um, I don't really, yeah, they, I've thought about doing cookie parties for their birthday, but it's just so much work. So I don't think it's going to, but they do it, just the two of them decorate cookies. Oh, you could do just like white icing on them and then give them a pack of markers. That's just, true. They'd be just as happy. <laughs> Sorry. They are big, but you could have them as a favor, which, you know, is usually a bigger kind of a format, I find, if you're doing a thank you, you know. And uh, if you're doing it as an activity for your kids, well, they're a nice size to do the activity. You don't give them a gazillion. You just give them, you know, one or two. Those are from Amazon. So I have the link. Did I put it? Well, let me look here. Coffee. I'll bring that over here. So this is my Amazon store link here. If you want to check it out, I have them there. All right. They are very nice, uh, Julie. So what do we have here? Yeah, they, they have them at, you know, they're, they've been on the market for a while. On the topic here, I went on Pinterest just to show some different versions. So this is a fondant version. Somebody used uh, fondant to decorate. So they cut the cookies and then they use the impression to kind of what I did. And then they put that on top of the cookie. And then this version here, which I liked, she did like a variety of colors. I love those colors. Yeah, she just did the base in whatever. But then um, she's clearly artistic because then she lost the impression. So she has to eyeball the, the decorating part, right? She doesn't yeah. have that anymore. This is chocolate dough. So you're filling in the holes of chocolate dough. And this is what they're kind of like meant to look like. And dinosaurs, I think, would work for certain little girls like that, too. Oh, yeah. My daughter loves dinosaurs. Is Jeremy right here? Yes, it is very good. Oh, uh, maybe a half teaspoon. It depends on the, your batch of dough, right? How, how much dough you're making. Yeah. I cut it in half. If you mm -hmm. you find your cookies rise so well, that's what I was uh, like. Say. Rise a lot. Yeah, they are pretty cute. Hello, Roxanne. Hello. 
Yes, I think the kids like these types of uh, activities. Oh, yeah. Well, what happens is if you cut the shape first, the cookie will, will expand. So if you're planning on using fondant to decorate, or your cookie will get, like, it's not going to get necessarily, maybe the word is not misshapen, but if you cut the cookie, then do the impression while your cookie's going to going to spread it right? out, yeah. I think you're still muted, Amber. Am I? Can you hear me? Hello, Jesse. Hi. Are you at, at muted? Because I no. can't hear you. Oh, okay. Can everybody hear me or Can no? Can you guys hear? Or am I the only one that doesn't hear? Oh, Jeremy oh, says my me. audio. <laughs> Let's see <clears throat> that, and then here. Let's see. Oh, just hmm. randomly. <laughs> Uh oh. Well, I don't know what's going on now, but hopefully Marlon will come back shortly. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, good. Thanks. So, um, <clears throat> let me just see. Um, if Mar's going to come back. Hello? Hello, I can okay. hear you. So weird. Like my audio sound just completely, the settings all just randomly like all changed. I'm obviously not in the settings. So bizarre. <laughs> Why would it do that? Like, <laughs> like, so <laughs> <laughs> I did I did I did I feel like that every day of my life let me tell you, you know, you'd hear all the older people when you were young oh time goes by so fast and I can't find where I put my thing or whatever and you're like god these people are annoying well I'm those people now <laughs> yeah. so good. but anyway what do you oh my yep. god. All right, well, there. oh, there you are. I'm there. See the camera now also. So weird. Anyway. So everything's back to normal now? That was I, very I, weird. That's normal, but okay. <laughs> so, so I've got a two piping tip in and some like relatively not super runny, but you know, and depends who's who's working. If you have somebody that like a young kid the icing has to be easy to squeeze out. You could do the tipless bags too. And then it's easy. You're just kind of filling in these openings. You see, you can see them perfectly. I'm working in white, but you could do any color. Another option when they're raw is you just use uh, some cocoa powder and like a brush and dirty them up. Yes. Which, you know. That would be cool, yeah look more fossilish. Yeah, I had a little bit of a panic. That's okay. We're fine. Well, that sound wakes everybody else. It's like an amber alert or something like that. <laughs> I know. You'd think that they'd, I don't know why, like as soon as two uh, audio things are close to each other, the, all that has to happen. Mm-hmm. Tech, what do you want? And it's not like I haven't done a live before, but every time it's like you don't know what's going to kind of transpire. Oh no, it's always something with these live streams. So, um, what did oh Marie was asking about a runny icing that you could just put over the entire cookie. Absolutely. So then you just fill the whole thing and then you scrape it off with a wide spatula. And so then you're basically like just you're removing the, the icing from the highest part of the cookie. And so everything that's inside indented will stay, will remain. Mm -hmm. And there's actually a picture I had done. I had done that on the other 
Where's the pictures here? That's what I did here. You see, if you look, there's one that's exactly that. Mm -hmm. And then on the side, the T-Rex in the back, that's just the cocoa powder kind oh, of cool. you know, I kind of just dirtied up. Mm -hmm. Cocoa powder does a nice job to just like give a quick like relief, like it makes the, the holes show up more, you know? And this, what's great is if let's say your icing, is, you know, you don't need your consistency perfect. That's always a struggle for beginners. Oh, my icing is not perfect. If you look here, it's a little lumpy, but it actually adds to it. It makes it look a little bit more kind of authentic, like, you know, bone-ish. And if part is not filled or whatever, this is a great beginner project because if it's not, it's broken or imperfect. It adds to the to the overall kind of feel of it. Mm -hmm. What joke did he not think of? Um, I missed it. Now you have to say the joke, Jeremy. Yeah. The, what, the, um, what second consistency is this? It's probably twenty. I was working on other other things with this icing. And so I needed it to be a little bit poofy. <clears throat> you got anybody that's watching has never made cookies before. Icing is kind of a thing that you just have to make to get familiar with and kind of used to the consistency that you like to work with. Some people like it more fluid. Some people like it that it's... A, you know, they'll do a perimeter to hold the icing in place and then a really fluid icing. And then there's the dual or hybrid, whatever they call it. Yeah. Different <clears throat> technology. Do you vary when you're making your cookies, Amber? Do you always go to the same? Um. Well, just because I do the tutorials, I try to keep it with the three different consistencies to make it as simple as possible. Um. <clears throat> but sometimes I go in between. So the there's, like, there's like five different consistencies that I use, but I really try to stick with the three. Mm -hmm. These are probably the three more popular of the dinosaur recognizables, the ones that general people like can name, you know? Mm -hmm. So they're... <laughs> You could pair it with other shapes, just like a flat out bone. If you have small, like you want to add a small little bite size cookie. I have or many some eggs. Of what? Some eggs, dinosaur eggs. eggs. Or rocks, sure, yeah. Dinosaur eggs, rocks. And even like um, I saw there's a volcano. That'd be cute. Oh, that would be cute. Or a meteor. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's an easy one. And the other thing that I had put on mine, which I don't know if you find here, but I'll show. You see at the bottom there, those are uh, chocolate rocks. I thought those looked really nice with it. Oh, yeah. Like the that you did at the candy store? Yeah. Yeah. Just a quick kind of thing to add, you know. I had done a dinosaur party for my son when he was, I think, six or seven, something like that. What did you do for that? Did you make cookies? I made fossil cookies, but it was before I had this particular set of cutters. They didn't exist at the time. Mm -hmm. so I had done actually like kind of a, a fossil in a in the fetal position. I don't know if you've ever seen an image of that. They're kind of like really in a fetal position. And so I had put it on a, a round cookie. It fit perfectly cool. on a round cookie. you can see it's pretty mindless you're just able to go through and fill the holes mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh that's cool tina said she airbrushes and then does the bones in white. 
Yeah, per yeah, exactly. It's to get a, a little bit of color. Like the cookies, when you bake them, depending, like here, this guy was close to the edge. See his, his tail? But yeah, if you get a little bit of color in the back, it mm -hmm. for sure makes the white pop even more, right? And then the T-Rex. Jackie, I use stiff consistency, medium consistency, which is soft peak, and then flood. And then the two more would be in between medium and stiff and medium and flood. So if I do use any of those like in between consistencies, I always call it out in the tutorial. Sometimes you're like kind of in a way sculpting, right? Like mm -hmm. you want everything to hold up really depends on the project. Yeah. I mean, they people make cookies for Christmas, but they're so great for any occasion and they can be customized. That's what's the great thing about cookies. Mm -hmm. Now picnic season is about to start. Cookies are a great, easy thing to hand out to people, you know, like a cake yeah. hey. I love me some cake, but yeah, at a, picnic, at a picnic and you have to have plates and cut it and it's melting, right? Like the cookies, you just yeah. have them in a Ziploc bag and you can hand them out. The kids don't come back covered in icing usually. <laughs> yeah. Karen's There's asking about stenciling. How many seconds do you prefer when you're, when you're stenciling? Oh, that has to be like, I want to say spackling consistency. So if you've used spackle in your life, you want to have it, you know, and again, it depends on what you're, the, again, the stenciling, like mm -hmm. your stencil, some stencils, the holes are very small. And so the icing has to be a little bit runnier for it to kind of even go in because if it's mm -hmm. too thick, it'll pass over and it doesn't even go into the little, the little dip of the space. Right. But if your icing is a little bit too runny and the hole is very open, then it gets under the stencil. Yeah. Do a test, a test stenciling. Hi, Sharon. And thicker, also what happens is, let's say you screw up and it's not nice, let it dry, because it's easier to remove dry icing than it is wet. So let it set up, and then you can use a spatula to scoop, like scrape it off, and generally, then it doesn't smear and damage the cookie, so you can start again. Mm -hmm. That will be cute, Michelle. What's she working on? Um, rubber ducks and the number one for her grandson's birthday. Super cute. Oh gosh, there's a lot of food allergies. Oh. To acceptable picnic desserts. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there they are, you see? Very easy and quick and very cute. You can pair them with dirt cupcakes. Oh, yeah. That's okay. true. What's a mess? All, and every other dessert aside from the ones he mentioned. Oh. Now, like, do uh, all the kind of patriotic holidays that are coming up, you can easily do like custom flags and custom, you name it. Yeah. Thank you, Roxanne. Thanks, Camille. Yeah, exactly. Warm mm -hmm. shakes. Hello, Victoria. Yes. Yeah. If you're in the Ukraine, take care. What was she saying here? <clears throat> yes. Very nice. That, oh, that's that like cool. the thing about the airbrushing is um, it when you eat the water, like your saliva activates the airbrush color. And so I don't if it's kids, it doesn't matter so much. Their lips are going to be uh, rainbow. 
but for adults, it's something to just be mindful of if you're putting airbrush on, if it's like a wedding or something like that. Right. The, um, My kids see, love I that. I think the right. sound did the thing again. Oh, really? You can't hear me? Let me. Yeah. Hello? No. Well, I was. I was <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> well, um, wait, can you hear me now? Though? Well, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why it's doing that. Like, seriously, mid, mid conversation, the thing decides to just, I'm not touching the settings. Why are the settings changing? So my apologies for that. That's very unpleasant. As soon as you use two, two cameras, mm -hmm. like, even like when you're doing it right, you've, you, you, just use one you take yourself completely out yes for, because it's got you get like your issues so anyway duck and run yeah, yeah. Ran away from that all one. guys for that i don't know what caused it all of a sudden we're fine and then next thing you know the thing kind of defaults to whatever yeah all right it's not as as, as clear as well. well i'm glad that was amusing <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Amber. Yeah, thanks for decorating today. And you guys, thank you. What? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, Karen, we had fun with that. My friend, did you see that video, Mar, of my friend reading me the rude comments? I, I did. I did. I've seen actually like a few people doing different things with the rude comments. Like different kind of is that like a trend on TikTok right now? I mean, you know, because I think it was Jimmy Kimmel that originally started it with mean tweets. Okay, so yeah, was, mean tweets. That was like the original, but you just have to like laugh at them. Well, the know? potato I think was just somebody trying to be humorous, right? That was not. Well, I heard somebody wrote and said that that was that's an old what they call a copy pasta, where people just are always pasting that comment on posts around the internet oh just to see what it'll what it'll yeah and they look at that they worked yeah exactly <laughs> they got I mean, better than some of the other stuff right i know and there are so many more that i cut out that was such a small fraction of what i get well you could do a monthly yeah Save make a series the, uh, save them to a um a folder and yeah mm -hmm. gen z is weird sometimes uh you know in gen z's defense i will fully accept that i'm weird sometimes so it's like i don't think it's a generational thing yeah <laughs> thanks everybody all right bye you're on on friday tuesday or tuesday tuesday, tuesday. so see you guys Bye. Bye.